Wow, look at my hair. It looks like I just woke up. I did. I just woke up. I really need to shave. But why is my eye, why are my eyes always red? Why? Also, why is my head surrounded by picture frame hanging strips? Well, uh, it's because there was a picture up there and it fell down and I haven't put it back up. I'm a Packer fan. <laughs> no, I'm a sophisticated Packer fan. What you get what you get what you get what? Now, why am I a Packer fan? Because my dad raised me correctly. Thanks, Dad. Today is January 16th, and we have a playoff game scheduled against the Los Angeles Rams. I'm a little bit nervous. But Josh, why are you nervous? You guys are the number one seed. You're 13 and three this year. Well, I'll tell you why I'm nervous. I have a theory. Never heard anybody else on the internet, sports talk shows, who analyze, dissect, break down every intricate detail, every statistic, everything. Never heard anybody talk about this theory that I am about to share with you. Now this theory, I have thought this for a few years now. It's been a trend and it involves Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers in the playoffs. When Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers, cause he's never played on any other team. When they play in the playoffs against an NFC West opponent, with a top tier defense, we never win. Now you might be scratching your head going, why so specific? Like what, like that doesn't, you guys, like, let me just show you. Okay, so let's just go back and look at the history of Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers in the playoffs, okay? This applies, so Aaron Rodgers kind of took over first year in the playoffs, 2009. Okay, so we see first off, right away, first loss, First career loss in the playoffs, Arizona Cardinals. Now, this one doesn't necessarily fit my theory because, you know, they were a top half defense, okay? They weren't an elite defense, but they were a top half at least in points against, okay? 14th of 32 in the top half of the league. But his very first career loss in the playoffs, boom, NFC West, okay? So we move on to next year. We won, we won the Super Bowl. What a glorious year. Look, no... NFC West opponents to speak of anywhere, okay? Next year, we lost to the Giants. They had a solid defense that have also played against whatever. Uh, that doesn't fit in my theory. But the, but again, they had a top defense, and so it's, it's similar. But 2012, San Francisco 49ers, NFC West, as we know. Second of, 30, of 32 teams in the league points against. They had a solid defense, NFC West. That's loss number two against the NFC West. Next year, San Francisco 49ers, once again, third of 32 points against, okay? They had a solid defense, okay? So that's three losses now to the NFC West. Very next year, Seattle Seahawks, first of 32 teams in points against. Guess what? We lost, okay? Boom. Very next year. You, I, I can't make this stuff up, you guys. Arizona Cardinals, 2015, very next season, second of 30, oh, sorry, seventh of 32 points against, okay? So they weren't quite as solid, but they were still a solid defense. I remember that that team was great. But guess what? We lost. Top defense, NFC West. Are you seeing a theme here? This year, you know, we didn't play an NFC West team, but we lost to the Falcons. That was a diff total, that doesn't fit in my theory. But 2019, okay? We played the Seahawks, NFC, okay? But look, NFC West, 22nd of 32. So this team was not a solid NFC West opponent with a solid defense. So again, that's not that that applies to my theory. But the very next week against the 49ers, we all remember what happened. This team had a solid defense. It says they're only 8th of 32 for points again. We know that their pass rush was insane with Nick Bosa. It was it was pretty crazy, okay? And then we come to this year. Let's look at the Rams this year. First of 32 teams for points against. Their defense is Legit, you guys. Do you see now why I'm nervous? Do you see now why my theory has me nervous? One, two, three, four, five losses out of, let's see, seven years. Five losses out of seven years came to an NFC West opponent with a solid defense. Not to even mention 2009 where we played the Cardinals and they didn't have the best defense in the world. They were still a top half defense, but we lost even to an NFC West opponent. So that's six times in the playoffs, 
Aaron Rodgers has lost to an NFC West opponent. And if we look at his overall record against the NFC West in the postseason, we see one loss, two loss, three loss, four loss, five loss, six loss, one win. A single, he's one in six in his career against the NFC West, but within my theory, he's 0 and 5. And we play this team today. And you people thought I was crazy. Well, maybe I am a little crazy. But I'm not making this stuff up. Can I, like, I've never heard anybody else talk about this. Maybe I'm the only person who's ever noticed it. Maybe not. Maybe there's other people who have seen it. However, I am nervous. So I wanted to throw this out there to everybody today. I felt the effects of it one too many times. Five too many times. Like, I don't like the situation that we're in this week. There is, however, a silver lining in this game. Jared Goff is hurt. He had thumb surgery like two weeks ago, okay? Well, he played last weekend, didn't play great. Aaron Donald got kind of hurt last week. We don't know how, if he's gonna be ahead at 100% or not. But their defense makes me nervous. They've got Jalen Ramsey. They still have a solid pass rush, even without Aaron Donald. I don't know, you guys. This is just the type of game. I mean, we went into the playoffs against the New York Giants that I pointed out. They had a solid defense. We were 15 and one. Boom, got smashed, okay? So here's the, here's the deal. I'm throwing this out there because as a Packer fan, if I had to put my money on it, I'm not putting my money on it. I can easily foresee us losing this game. But I wanted to throw that out there as a theory that you guys might find interesting because I've never heard anybody else talk about that. But we'll see if maybe he can break the curse today. I don't know. Go Pack Go. Let's go Rodgers. Let me know what you guys think. Was this a crazy theory? Am I just nuts? Or do I have, a, am I on to something here? Do I have a point? Do you think the Packers are gonna win? By the time you see this video, the game will probably already be over. So you might see that I was either right or I was wrong. But either way, even if he wins this game, he's only one in five against the NFC West with a, with a solid defense. So I don't know guys. Like, comment on the video, subscribe, we'd love it. But root on my Packers, cheer on my Packers. Even if you're a Rams fan, just good, just do it. Come on, please. Like, you guys don't need to be going to Super Bowl. It's, you know, it's it's whatever. You guys. All right, guys, love you. And I love my Packers. And we'll see. Go back up.